may have recognized this as an Audi A3, one of our favorite compact luxury cars of 2014. But this one has one crucial difference. There's a bit more headroom. That's right, I am at the wheel of the 2014 Audi A3 Cabriolet. There's no mistaking this for anything other than an Audi A3. And that's mainly down to its compact dimensions and the fact it shares its nose, wheels and taillights with the sedan. The most obvious difference, of course, is that it's missing its roof and two doors. But you'll also notice the nice brushed silver trim around the windscreen and the chrome band that wraps around the cabin. It all just makes the cabriolet look a little bit sportier. Step inside and the front half is all but identical to the A3 sedan. And that means an uncluttered design, superb fit and finish and loads of equipment. However, while the leather clad seats are comfy and supportive, they aren't electrically adjustable. A glaring omission in such an expensive car. That said, you do get dual zone climate control, a touchpad for the MMI and, if you pay a little extra, satellite navigation and a sound system from Bang & Olufsen. Of course, this being a compact convertible, there are some compromises on space. The two rear seats are small and have very little legroom, and the boot is a whole 100 litres smaller than the sedans, though you could probably pack enough for a short weekend trip. But enough about practicality. The convertible is powered exclusively by the 1.8 litre TFSI petrol engine and we like that a lot. It's got a lot of punch, it's really smooth and creamy and it just goes 177 bhp as and when you want it. It's mated, of course, to Audi's excellent 7-speed dual-clutch gearbox. And, unlike the sedan, you can have paddle shifters on the cabrio. It makes flicking up and down the ratios a whole lot more fun. Now, one of our favorite things about the A3 sedan was just how much fun it was to drive. And the best part is that very little of that fun has been taken away with the roof. In fact, now that the roof is open, you get to enjoy the sound, the wind in your hair. It just adds to the overall experience and makes it even more fun. With the roof down, you can hear how nicely the motor purrs when you really ring it out. There's even a nice whomp from the exhaust on every upshift. Lovely. Now, one of the concerns with a convertible is that you lose some of that chassis rigidity when you take the roof off the car. But the good news is that not much of it has gone and it still feels very tight and very, very well held together. You don't feel too much scuttle shake and the car is just as much of a thrill to steer as the sedan. The convertible also gets Audi's Drive Select system, which lets you choose from one of five modes that change the way the car behaves. However, these only affect the engine, gearbox and steering response, not the suspension. Now if there's something that will take a little getting used to in the convertible, it is this windscreen, which is lower and further back than in the sedan. And I'm not a very tall driver, but I can see this taking a little bit of getting used to. Get acclimatized though, and you can really revel in what makes this car special. All the thrills of the A3 sedan, with all the added benefits of open-top motoring, and only a few compromises to practicality. At just a shade under 45 lakh rupees, this is a little on the pricey side, and that's because it's a full import, unlike the A3 sedan. Now, a sensible person might think that that's a bit too much for a compact luxury car. But don't think of it that way. This is not going to be your first car. This is going to be your second or maybe even third car. It's a fun thing to take out on a weekend blast or maybe just out on the town at night. It's an indulgence and what an indulgence it is. <laughs>